Hey guys, it's Andrew with another MAO Magic Review. Today we have the Compass from 12 South, but not just the Compass, it's the Compass 2, which was introduced in early 2014. So there are going to be some small differences between the Compass and the Compass 2. We're going to go over those. So this review pretty much covers both models, and you guys can see what's different in the new model. There's, there's not that many. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to go ahead and open it up. If you're not familiar, the Compass is pretty much just a metal iPad stand. Its main claim to fame is the fact that it's extremely portable. It shrinks up super small so you can throw it in any bag. It also comes with a little travel case that makes it even easier. I am really glad they did include the travel case because it is forged from steel, which means even though it won't scratch your iPad when it's you know on there because it has silicone, it could scratch something else in your bag as well as the paint on the compass comes off fairly easily. I already know several spots in the few weeks that I've had this second generation model. Now the bag isn't anything fancy, just screen printed on the front with the logo, basically some vinyl, and it is different from the first generation. It does um, fit the compass a lot better. It's not as tight as the first one, and the drawstring on the top is a lot easier than the kind of flap they had on the other one. So not anything fancy, but really glad they had it in here, and it's just nice that they put in this kind of extra accessory that you don't necessarily need. And if you're paying this much for it, I'm glad they put stuff like that in there. As for the compass itself, here it is. You have the logo on the front in silicone and the name and kind of the manufacturing information on the back. You have the first hinge as well as the pin hinge on that rear leg that is on side of the back like easel leg of the stand itself. On the front, you have the two legs that split open. So this is kind of like a three-legged tripod type stand. And on the front of the two legs, there is silicone as well as on the feet and as these two parts that fold out. All that is covered in silicone, so there shouldn't be any scratching and it shouldn't slip on tabletops or on planes, any of that kind of stuff. The feet that kind of stick out here, these are very sturdy, you know, it's really nice. They have the pin hinge going across, so they, they definitely hold up well. It's not like some flimsy piece of plastic that they have sticking out. The legs are also fairly nice. I'm glad they have the silicone on all of these. One thing that was giving me a little bit of an issue is you can see one of these, it, it moves very easily, nice and simple. The second one here, it, it does not move. I mean, it, it's really difficult to move. I don't know what's going on, if it's bent or something, but it is not working for me. So there's a few issues with that for me so far, as well as with this back leg. It doesn't kind of go down all the way. So if you have it in like the typing position here, so if we open up, sorry, if we open up this back leg and we do it, if you're going to be like typing, okay, you can see that it doesn't like go up enough so the two front legs float. And even with the weight of an iPod, iPad, it does not push those down enough to make it, you know, not wiggle. So it does that and I, it doesn't seem as precise as the first generation, which I happen to have right here. And yes, they do look very similar in the second generation comes in silver and red, as well as the black model. Now the paint on the old versus the new, the new one is a little bit glossier compared to the more matte on the old one. And I prefer the matte, even though it's not a huge difference. It just feels a little bit cheaper on the new model. As you can see, the old model is a little bit thinner. They've increased the feet on the new model, which raises it up, which allows you to use like the lightning cable to charge it a lot easier without damaging it. You can see the silicone on the front has been increased on the new model, as well as the angle has been, um, has been made smaller for where these legs open up. That way, it is able to hold an iPad mini in portrait mode. If, the, if you tried to put an iPad mini on the old model, the legs were spread too far apart, so you had to kind of bring them in to make the iPad mini fit. So that's the main difference. The legs are taller and the angle isn't as much. On the bad side, they've switched these hinges. As you can see on the old model, they have two pin hinges on the main leg as well as the small like typing leg. They've switched it to this like single pin on this single hinge on the old one, on the new one, and it's not as strong. It's kind of wiggly a little bit. It does not feel nearly as strong and as precise as the old one did. So a little bit let down quality wise. The first one seemed a bit better. Here's the case that you got with the first generation had this flap, it was a little bit tighter when you were trying to put it in, like it was definitely like exact size of the compass, so it was a little bit more of a pain when you're trying to take it in and out of the case, as well as putting that little flap in. So the case is probably better, even though I kind of like the material of the old one, it's probably for the best. 
Now, if we're going to go ahead and compare the Compass to another stand, we might as well compare it to the one other that 12 South makes for iPad, the Book Arc for iPad. As you can see, it is this arced piece of metal with a silicone insert. The iPad just slides in, and you can also go to that little angle there. So we have two angles on the Book Arc, as well as kind of how the Compass has the laying down in vertical. This insert can be removed and changed depending on the iPad that you have. Now the angles on the book arc are going to be a little bit more extreme when they are compared to the compass. The compass is a much better angle, which has been slightly tweaked from the first generation, by the way, compared to the book arc. So I much prefer the angle those two have. If we compare it to something that a lot more people may have or be familiar with, it is the uh, smart cover that Apple sells, which has the vertical as well as the typing position. Now the iPad is pretty secure when you're typing like this, but it can, if you slide forward or backward, it's not that strong, it can easily fall down. As for the forward and backward motion on the compass, it's very secure. However, if you have the iPad Air or a large iPad, the side to side is not what it should be. It definitely kind of bounces around a little bit, so it's very hard to type using an iPad Air on the compass. I'm not a fan of it. You definitely hit it a little bit too much. And I think the the narrowing of the legs made that a little bit of a problem. However, on the iPad mini, it's delightful. There are no issues on the iPad mini. The smaller width makes it a lot better. As you can see, you can easily use a charging cable with it. I use mine a lot for on planes, on the go. I love taking it with me, watching Netflix, movies, TV shows like Chuck, as well as when I'm cooking. It's awesome for cooking. I'm always looking for a great cooking stand. And I love that it's all metal and silicone, nothing to kind of get ruined or messy when I'm cooking, and it's just really easy to take with me. I can throw it in my chef's bag, and I just really love the stand in general for its mobility and its compactness. It's $39.99, available from Apple, 12 South, Amazon, and a few others. If you have any questions at all, please throw them up in the comments. I will get back to you right away. Other than that, please subscribe, check out my other videos, and I will see you guys all next time.